Kenny Rice and Boss Rudin, and we welcome you in, and it's underway. Yeah, and he knows everything, Hoss. Three knockouts, one submission. I have a feeling that uh, this is going to be a slugfest. Hawes has finished two opponents in the first round. But Taylor is hot right now, having won five straight. And relishes the underdog roll and delivers a nice right to the head. He's mixing it up. Take the takedown, then come back on top with some shots. Go for another takedown. Very smart. Taylor told me at the weigh-in yesterday he respects Hawes. He knows he's a young talent and doesn't want to give him too much room too early. <laughs> nice low kick, yeah. Now he's got the look to me like uh, he has the reach advantage. I'm talking about Taylor. But I didn't look at it. Taylor flicking out that jab. Good job. I love his nickname, Taylor. Put the guns down. Lewis put the guns down, Taylor. You want to see this bout from all different angles as well as backstage content? Download the Kizwe app today. Oh, and there it goes to the ground. Yeah, he set himself up for that. He went to throw a power counter, landed his feet, and boom, down he went. But by Jacob the Bucks back up. He's back up. Can he stay that way? Oz has his back. Taylor, good experience. He's been in against some tough fighters. This is 16th pro fight. Almost four times the pro experience as Hawes. Is that going to play a factor in the later rounds, especially if it's going to go to a third round, because then that's where Hawes has never been, right? He has never been past the second. And these middleweights are scheduled for three. Since he's so explosive, can he keep fighting explosive even in the third round? If it goes, of course, to the second end. Taylor, nice use of that jab so far. And moving again is Hawes, trying for the takedown again. Yeah, left hook, and he just kind of gave his leg almost. But he's got great defense. Look. Taylor continues to get some space, flicking out that jab, and now comes through with a straight right. See, and it, because he faked the takedown again. That was nice. Dipped a little, and it came over the top of the right. Well, as it's supposed to be, this is considered the toughest test for Hawes going up against a KG veteran like Lewis Taylor. Oh, nice. And Taylor comes right back with that left. That's so beautiful, right? And right now it's Taylor who has the measure of Haas. That kick got oh. up just a little short. He's connecting. He's landing his shots. This is a good start for Haas, for Taylor, who comes in as the underdog to Haas. Wow. I guess being undefeated makes you right away the favorite. And coming out of that powerhouse that is the Jackson Wink Gym in Albuquerque, by way of his home in New Jersey. And Hawes compared very early boss to some really outstanding fighters that he would have that kind of potential. Tough to live up to at times. I know, but you know, you train with all these guys as well, so they make you stronger. Oh, wow. A little slip there, you hear the ooze from the crowd. Yes, there's a bleak kick. That one really nailed him. Body shots also, straight to the body. Taylor continues to stay right in front of Hawks, just measuring the distance enough. Short with that body attack. I think it's great, but I think both fighters should a little bit start working also the body. You know, the whole body. Go head to body, body to head. Start mixing it up. Taylor able to duck under those punches. That was a nice right by Hawes. Final seconds of round one. Taylor showing a lot of different weapons here to Phil Hawes in the start of this one. 
Welcome back, WSOF 32, coming round to two. you from Everett, Ready? Washington, Ready? just Ready? north of Seattle Ready? tonight, as round two is underway. Lewis Taylor in the black trunks in the red is Phil Hawes. Hawes, the youngster out of New Jersey, is undefeated, coming in here at 4-0 as the favorite in this one. Taylor at 12-3, the 37-year-old says he relishes being the underdog. He didn't fight like the underdog in that first round, mixing it up quite well. He did really well, yes. No respect there, That's, which is a good thing, of course, as a fighter. Because once you start you know, getting jittery because you know he's a powerful opponent, that's where you get in trouble. Oh, and that's the power that Hawes has. Yeah. He has three knockouts among his four victories. And that's why he needs to start throwing body shots because he's moved his head backwards, which will expose his entire body. Well, left hook to the head when he moves his head back, right straight to the body. Those oblique kicks, he's doing a good job with that. And it's really annoying because you get inside his head. Hawes pushes the action against the cage now. He's just smart, used to the thighs. I always tell, tell fighters, you know, to load those up. You can really do some damage here. But use the kneecap, don't use the thigh. And once again, Taylor pushes away. Taylor continues to stand right in front of Hawes. Not many guys have done that so far. Yeah, see, now we start setting things up. He's not going to do another one, maybe, and then come on top. Again, he shoots in and pushes the action against the fence. Taylor putting his hands in there. He the pull those up. He cannot let him get them low. Especially if he wants the knees, that's a problem. Oh, a short right. He connected with. Too hungry, he's got to watch out. Go for a guillotine, very smart, because that will stop the defense. And now the defense goes to the old guillotine. And it's Man. Taylor now that has Hawes out of there. It's Taylor has pulled the upset. Wow. That quickly. You know that's experience. Lewis Taylor, the experience paying off. He wins for the sixth straight time. And a very impressive showing by Lewis Taylor as he submits Phil Hawes, handing him his first defeat, that taking place in round two. Let's go to ring announcer Jazz Sakuro, who will have the time of the victory. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight ends with a tap out due to a guillotine at two minutes and 15 seconds of round number two. Your winner, Lewis, put the guns down!